Tippy time, my damn is Top Cat here, and welcome back to the channel. This is the new legendary stasis SMG in the kinetic slot, the forensic nightmare. Sorry, it's taken me so long to get to this weapon, but we've had 60 plus new weapons drop this season, and initially I had to put this down the list of priorities. 600 RPMs have been fairly meh in the past, so why would I use this over the multi mark? This thing won't be able to beat the multi mark in pure range, but if you never acquired the Iron Reach multi, you'll probably be using the Dynamics Way multi kill click. I'm guessing this Forensic Nightmare can compete with that. So let's take a look at the roles we've crafted, shall we? First up, PBE. Stability, Intrinsic Trait, Arrowhead, High Cow. This will give us that sweet recoil so we don't have to bang on a CB, a counterbalance mod. I'm using either quick access sling, free hand grab, but dealer choice really. I'm using the synergy of Grave Robber and Swashbuckler for this PBE roll. I love this roll for any PBE content up to 1580. But this is more so I, I don't plan on taking this into any GMs anytime soon as I like a little more range in my GM builds. You can run this on any of your melee based builds such as the NK44s of which I'm using in the background footage here. I'll leave a link at the end of this video so you can see this build in action and how to use it. But it also works equally well on say throwing knife builds or some warlock happy slap thing. I just run into a horde of adds, get off that shoulder charge. This will auto proc swashbuckler times 5 so you don't have to sit there shooting 5 adds to get it up to that 5 stack. You just run in the shoulder charge and now you have max buff for the DPS. Spray those bullets into your foe and watch them fall. Don't bother reloading, we've got grave robber. Another shoulder charge and my mag is fully loaded back for Swashbuckler Times 5 again. Rinsin' and Reapin' and Repeatin'. The Forensic Nightmare also comes with the perk Psycho Hack. This is on all Throne World Seasonal Weapons. This gives the SMG a stun effect. You'll see it working when the target emits like a wavy red glow. The target can still attack you so don't get too close to him. But it's like he's stuck in the mud and won't be able to aggress you, like, he's just like slow moving. This is great for when you've got a boss that likes to move around, you just got one person shooting him with the psycho hack, this allows people with melee based supers to run up and just hammer on him without the boss running around all schizo, or in this case psycho, lols. But needless to say this is a lot of fun, particularly on this titan build here, just running around max damage and max melee all day all night so I won't be taking this off my titan anytime soon. As for our PvP, in terms of the intrinsic trait, mag and barrel those are going to stay the same but for the first perk I'm going to go with perpetual motion. Whilst moving gain a stack after 2 seconds this will grant you 5 stability, 5 handling and 5 reload. You will gain an additional stack after 10 seconds, granting you 15 stability, 15 handling, and 15 reload. This is a massive buff, and you'd be surprised how easy it is to keep these perpetual moving stacks up. As, let's face it, you should always be moving in this game. You don't want to be stuck in the mud like you are psycho-hacked. Perp motion is a really great perk, particularly on the 600 RPM archetype, as the stats will always be the lowest on these things. I would recommend giving this roll and this gun a go before slapping on enhanced versions. I can't say for certain what this actually gives you, but it feels like it gives you an extra half a second before the perk perpetual motion deactivates. But I'll um, post up if I have any further updates on this. Next up we have kill clip. I prefer this over the multi kill clip for PvP, particularly on this SMG as you're really going to get multi kills in one mag of ammo. So I would say this is the one section where the Sprintic Nightmare does beat up the multi max dynamic and multi kill clip combination. 
its other competition will also be the submission however the new raid smg i'll be reviewing this next week but obviously it's easier to craft the forensic nightmare so this makes it a better intermediary option the nightmare is also stasis and let's not forget that giving it the option to make lances on your titan this is very handy and fun for those slidey boy titans on behemoth peacekeepers in summation is it good yes is it great yeah pb kinetic slot yes craft it use it love it pvp most of us had three seasons to get the god roll multi mark and most will have it with iron reach so i won't be vaulting the mark just yet if you are new or just were never blessed by bungie this is a great second option to the mark but it is still second and once i craft the submission today i'm pretty sure the forensic nightmare will be relegated down to third but let's see once that happens anyway guys this is the review for today i hope this helps when it comes to crafting your forensic nightmare and if indeed you even want to after watching this it is all up to you at the end of the day listen to what you want take in what you want tippy time my damies until next time this has been top cat peace